everybody, welcome to Chin Fat. In this episode, I'm gonna be continuing the preference panel here. If we go under Premiere and go to Settings and go to Timeline, we're gonna be covering a couple of things here in the Timeline. Uh, if, once again, if you're on a PC, that's gonna be found under Edit, and then you'll scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll find uh, the preference panel right there, and then you'll just move on over and, and you'll just click on the same thing that we're doing here, Timeline. So I'll hit Timeline, that will pop up this window. And in the Timeline window here, we're covering these items up here. Your video transition default duration, which is when you dissolve from clip to clip, how long you want that to be. At 30 frames per second, right now I've got a timeline that is 24 frames per second. So technically, if you wanted to make that this, uh, be one second exactly, this would be a little longer than a second because I'm doing it 24 frames per second. You can just change this to 24, 24 frames. And now I've got one second. Since I'm going to be editing in 24 frames per second, I now have my video transition default will be one second long. If you want that longer, if you want a longer fade, I'm gonna do some photos here. So let's make this a little bit kind of longer and softer. We're gonna go like 48 frames. It's gonna be a two second dissolve, which is a little bit more slow. We'll show you this once we get in and start adding dissolves to the photos that we're adding to this. Uh, this does, uh, doesn't work on photos, it works on videos as well. But this one, because I'm, I'm going over the still image default duration, we're gonna, I'm gonna be importing some photos. Audio transition default duration, I'm not gonna worry about. But you, uh, if you're doing a, a crossfade from clip to clip, you can tell how long you wanna, want it to be. Once again, if you want it like uh, double the length, you can put two seconds. We'll show this as well. I'll bring in some music or something and show that as well. We can say that we want them two seconds long. One second is pretty standard, uh, but if you want it a little bit longer, you can change that in your preferences for the project that you're working on. Like if I'm doing, uh, in this instance, maybe I'm doing like a wedding video with a whole bunch of still images, or I'm doing maybe somebody's some sort of in random life photo thing for, for somebody that we're celebrating somebody's life or something like that. We have a whole bunch of photos. We want to put them into our timeline and have it do a little bit of the editing for us here. So still image duration. Uh, let's say we want these a little bit longer as well. I want when you import it, it's one still image, but it, when you drop it into your timeline, it'll treat your image as if it is a video clip you, that you can extend or you can shrink. So this one I want a little bit longer. We want them to dwell on the photos for maybe like eight seconds. With that, I'm going to hit OK. And I am doing a sequence that is 1920 by 1080. And the photos that I'm importing are 4K. They're much larger than that. But I'm going to be exporting out a, a 1920 by 1080 clip for my final project here. So one thing that you do want to do, and I've got a previous episode on this, is you'll want to go in to your media preference. I'm going to set default media scaling to set the frame size. Set the frame size will resize the photos to fit the size of my frame, which is 1920 by 1080, which basically means it's going to scale the photos down to fit into my timeline as I drop them into my timeline. So I'm going to import my photos. Here's all the photos that I'm going to import, and I'm going to bring in some music as well that I grabbed off of Incompetech.com. Import those. I'm going to select them all and drag and drop them all onto my timeline. The duration of each photo, if I press play, is going to last eight seconds long. When we go to the next photo, we're in eight seconds. Then go to the next photo, 16 seconds, and so on. So all these awesome photos of dogs and bread, good combination, are eight seconds long. So as I play through these, these are just going to be straight cuts. It hits that at the end of one photo, and it cuts to the next photo. It goes from the end of this photo, and goes to the next photo, and so on. So let's say that we want to put some dissolve transition so it dissolves from clip to clip. And I set it up to be two second dissolve. If you want to add these one at a time, you can land on these edits. I'm hitting arrows up and down here to jump to the right or jump to the left. But if you want to add a dissolve, the shortcut is Command D or Control D on a PC as in dissolve. And, you, and this will add your default transition, which is your cross dissolve. If you go to your effects tab and go to video transitions and go under dissolve, you'll see that it's got this little blue highlight around cross dissolve. These are all transitions to go between edits right here. And the one that's circled right there is your default. If you want to change it to a different one, you can just right click and say set as default transition. The cross dissolve is the most standard and the most used. So I'm just going to leave that one highlighted. So now we've got a two second dissolve. So if we get pre-roll this and play, and it will do a nice little dissolve between the edits. If you want to add transitions to everything in your timeline, that's pretty easy. All you have to do is highlight all of your clips in your timeline, and then you hit Command D or Control D, and it will add transitions to everything. And it will even add a transition to the beginning of my clip here. If we zoom up on this a little bit, you'll notice I've got a cross dissolve here. Since there's no cross dissolve at the beginning, which basically creates a fade in. So this fades in, and then when we get to the next clip, it will cross dissolve. As it gets to the next clip, it will cross dissolve, and it will fade through all these photos. So you have a nice little wedding video or a nice little presentation video of all your photos you took that you get to stick on, onto a TV onto a big HD TV as people kind of enter your house for a party and get to see your photos playing on the on the TV of bread and dogs, the two most important things in life. So now I can go to my project window here and I can grab my audio that I selected from incompetech.com. I'm not advertising for them. I'm not linked to them. It's just a good website to get free music. I'm going to drag and drop this down uh, to my timeline here. I'll have a separate episode on this later, but I'm going to use my remix tool 
to grab my music that's too long for my timeline here. With the remix tool, I'm going to grab the end, drag it to the duration of my movie, and it will, using AI, it will recreate the music track here with edits to make it sound like it was written for this length. There are the edits that it took out there, but it's pretty darn seamless. Listen to this. That sounds pretty good there. It makes it pretty seamless, and then the music ends at the same time that my picture ends. Kind of beautiful fade out. So the last part here is let's show you the duration of the audio transitions here. If I drop some music in and I cut my music and I'm going to add some different music and I want to transition to a dis different music file here. Let's grab some music here in the middle in and out point and now I'm going to drop that onto my timeline, hit period. And let's say that we want to transition between this music and that music right there. So I can land on my edit, I can hit arrow up, and now I'm gonna hit Command Shift D or Control Shift D on a PC. It'll do what's called a crossfade between the two audio files. One audio file is gonna be fading out while the other one is fading in and we have this smooth transition. Like that. And now if I double click on this, it will show that I've got a two second transition. So those were set in the preferences. So now we're at, so when I import photos, they will now be a duration of eight seconds long. When I add cross dissolves, they will be two seconds long, and when I add audio crossfades, those will be two seconds long as well. And even though these photos are eight se seconds long, you can you can eternally trim these to make them the length that you want them to be, or even at, or even to shorten them up. And then they will just treat these still photos as if they are video clips. So epic. All right, guys, well, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, please post them. And thank you for watching Chin Fat.